hello guys and welcome back to our channel cms prep today we are starting our psm series in this the first video we are going to discuss is about occupational health so we are going to discuss all the questions related to occupational health from 2009 till 2024 so there are 23 questions question number 1 these toxic effects like abdominal colic obstinate constipation loss of appetite anemia stippling of rbc and blue line on gums are due to exposure of lead is the main culprit here lead inhibits ala dehydratase and ferrochelatase uh, so it blocks heme synthesis this causes microcytic and hypochromic anemia and along with that it causes basophilic stippling that is undegraded rna remains in the rbc so it is visible on peripheral smear now lead also uh, causes damage to the autonomic uh, nervous system supplying the git hence it leads to obstinate constipation that is a constipation which is not getting relieved after a long time okay and also leads to abdominal colic blue line on gum this is caused due to lead's reaction with uh, hydrogen sulfide okay so the lead sulfide deposition at the gingival margin leads to the blue line on gum so the correct answer is c okay uh, carbon monoxide leads to tissue hypoxia there is no gi or gum effect asbestosis can lead to lung fibrosis mesothelioma there is no involvement of git and radiation will lead to myelosuppression not specific anemia like features okay uh, correct answer is c let which of the following condition may produce ridge drop diabetes in diabetes mellitus there is symmetrical distal sensory loss rather than motor neuropathy okay in alcohol uh, stocking and glove sensory neuropathy is seen and in beri beri uh, dry form symmetrical motor neuropathy is seen but no focal radial involvement is seen but in lead poisoning what lead does is that uh, lead targets motor neuron especially radial nerve and causing its uh, axonal degeneration so radial nerve innervates the wrist extensors lead poisoning causes wrist drop due to extensor weakness so the correct answer is a most industrial worker are exposed to lead as an occupational hazard which of the following statement regarding lead poisoning are correct lead poisoning it also called plumbism yes it is correct in latin uh, lead is called plumbum or lead okay basophilic stippling of red blood cell is seen yes it is also correct it is due to inhibition of rna degrading enzyme so there are residual uh, ribosomes in the cell giving rise to basophilic stippling progressive massive fibrosis of lung is seen no this is incorrect it is seen in coal worker pneumoconiosis not lead poisoning coproporphyrin in urine is a useful screening test yes it is elevated due to impaired heme synthesis and it is a useful screening test in lead poisoning so the correct answer is 1 2 and 4 With regards to lead poisoning consider the following statement coproporphyrin in urine is a screening useful screening test yes it is correct answer because it is uh, elevated in the heme when the heme pathway is disrupted so it is a early in indicator and even before anemia sets in its level is increased and hand washing before eating is an important measure of personal hygiene yes because uh, it prevents the ingestion of lead dust a major route in worker handling paints and batteries okay so this is also correct the third one uh, d penicillin has been reported to be effective in management of lead poisoning yes it is a chelating agent advanced ones like uh, british anti leucocyte or calcium sodium edta are also available if these are not available then d penicillin can also be used for chelating so all three options are correct basophilic stippling of rbc is an sensitive index of lead inhibits pyrimidine 5 nucleotides leading to aggregation of ribosomal rna in rbc so it appears as fine granules okay so this is the characteristic feature in peripheral smear of lead poisoning in arsenic poisoning you can see mees lines and uh, encephalopathy asbestosis has a respiratory uh, effects no rbc effect and silica also leads to silicosis which is a uh, type of pneumoconiosis so it has no relation to rbc so the correct answer is lead poisoning an industrial worker was brought to a medical uh, facility due to health problem on his workup including laboratory test a finding of basophilic stippling of rbc was observed which of the following is he likely to be having 
so lead inhibits the enzyme needed for rna breakdown hence there is accumulation of ribosomes and this causes stippling okay so this is seen in chronic exposure in industrial worker associated with uh, uh, battery paints and pottery in asbestosis lungs are affected plural plaques are formed there is no involvement of rbcs in farmer lung it is basically hypersensitivity pneumonitis and in brucellosis it is a febrile zoonosis no blood smear changes like stippling is observed so the correct answer is lead poisoning under the esi scheme extended sickness benefit is provided in which of the following diseases extended sickness benefit is provided for 34 chronic illnesses including tb leprosy and empyema so all of these are correct okay and uh, extended sickness benefit is continued beyond 91 days of regular sickness benefit so the correct option is 1 2 and 3 the benefit of esi act include all of the following except medical benefit is given free ipd and opd care is given sickness benefit yes 70% of the wages for 91 days of the year Uh, during certified illness it is given rehabilitation allowance is also given for uh, physical and occupational rehab but nutritional allowance is not given it is included under some other schemes see so the correct option is option d uh, you visit an industry to audit whether the benefits of esi act are being pro properly provided which of the following benefits should be available to the insured person or other dependent as the case may be see medical benefit is provided sickness benefit is also provided and funeral expenses is also provided and rehabilitation allowance is also provided so the correct option is 1 2 3 and 4 the esi act 1948 of india provides a certain benefit to employees which among the following are benefits to insured person or to the dependents under the act disablement benefit yes it is given 90% of the wage in permanent disability is given funeral expenses up to rupees 15000 to the nominee is given in maternity benefit 26 week of paid leave is given and travel benefit so esi act does not cover travel benefit so this is the odd one out so the correct option is 1 2 and 3 farmer lung is caused by the inhalation of so farmer lung is caused by the inhalation of grain dust with actinomycetes so farmer lung is basically hypersensitivity pneumonitis due to thermophilic actinomycetes in moldy hay or grain okay it, it includes type 3 and uh, type 4 hypersensitivity it is a type of interstitial lung disease sugar cane causes bagasosis silica causes silicosis and cotton causes bisinosis so the correct option is a which among the following has two general phases simple pneumoconiosis and a second phase characterized by progressive massive fibrosis so the correct answer is anthracosis in the first stage there is pneumoconiosis and in the second stage there is back black fibrotic lung due to progressive massive fibrosis in bagasosis it is due to sugarcane mold it is hypersensitivity lung disease there is no fibrosis okay in bisinosis it is associated with monday chest tightness mainly due to obstruction and in siderosis iron oxide dust is the main cause and uh, radiologic changes are seen but no fibrosis or other symptoms are seen so the correct option is anthracosis which one of the following occupational disease is the most common cause of permanent disability and mortality so the correct answer is silicosis silica causes fibroblast stimulation and it leads to collagen deposition this collagen deposition further leads to progressive fibrosis okay so the highest morbidity and mortality due to irreversible restrictive lung disease is seen in silicosis and it also increases the risk for tb in anthracosis black lung is seen but but it is less disabling than silicosis bisinosis is reversible if early it is not fatal in asbestosis it is serious but slower progression and mesothelioma is rare the following table shows some of the pneumoconiosis diseases along along with their agents which among the following is most implicated causative chemical represents the correct combination of the diseases and causative chemical is anthracosis is caused by coal dust yes it is correct bagasosis is not caused due to silica dust it is caused due to sugarcane dust okay
Bisinosis is caused due to cotton dust. Yes, it is correct. And siderosis is not caused due to asbestos. It is caused due to iron oxide dust. So the correct combination is C, two and three. Raju is thirty years of age. He has been working in ceramic and pottery industry for the last ten years. Which one of the following condition should he be screened for? So people working in ceramic industries or pottery worker they inhale crystalline silica. and this causes nodular pulmonary fibrosis so if we do the screening in screening we do chest x ray and we can see small rounded opacities in the upper lobe of the chest anthracosis is done for cold worker bisnosis is done for textile worker and asbestosis is done for shipyard insulation and construction worker so the correct option is a match list 1 and list 2 pneumoconiosis with the specific occupation anthracosis is due to coal mining bisnosis is caused due to textile industry silicosis is due to building and construction work and bagasosis is seen in paper industry occupational exposure to benzol may lead benzene or benzol causes bone marrow suppression that leads to aplastic anemia and can further lead to acute myeloid leukemia it is seen in people associated with rubber paint and chemical industry lung cancer is associated with asbestos and silica copd is associated with dust and smoke and neurofibroma is not an occupational disease rather a genetic disease so the correct option is option b leukemia kaisen disease is usually seen in which group of worker kaisen disease is seen in deep sea divers it is uh, decompression sickness it is also seen in underwater tunnel worker or divers so what happens is that when they do a rapid ascent the nitrogen bubble in the blood uh, they cause effervescence leading to joint pain paralysis stroke abdominal distension barotrauma etc so it is associated with construction worker under sea level cotton field worker suffer from bisnosis worker in manufacturing of gas may suffer from carbon monoxide poisoning uh, hydrogen sulfide worker in radiation unit uh, often suffer from cancers leukemia etc okay so the correct option is b with reference to occupational cancers consider the following statement skin cancer is a common occupational hazard in workers employed in nickel and chromium work so this is incorrect in nickel and chromium work mainly the risk is for nasal sinus carcinoma so this is incorrect cancer bladder is an occupational hazard in worker employed in dye stuff and dyeing industry yes it is correct aniline dye causes transitional cell carcinoma Leukemia can occur on long exposure to benzol. Yes, it is correct. Lung cancer is typically found in worker employed in electric cable industries. No, this is incorrect. Lung cancer is typically seen with asbestos and silica, and not cable industry. Okay, so in cable industry, probably they will be using PVC that can cause angiosarcoma of liver, but uh, not lung cancer. So the correct option is option B, two and three. Again, match match the following. a uh, lead can lead to wrist drop coal tar can lead to lung cancer aniline dye can lead to bladder cancer and benzol can lead to leukemia which of the following countries was the first to institute compulsory sickness allowance so germany under that time it was prussia so and it under otto von bismarck introduced social insurance system in 1883 covering the compulsory sickness allowance insurance of all the worker usa it was introduced in 1960 along with medicare and in england it was introduced in 1940s and france it was introduced after germany so the correct answer is option d germany by applying the principles of ergonomics which of the following can be improved designing of the equipments and tools human efficiency layout of place of work reduction in industrial accident so what is ergonomics ergonomics is the study of efficiency of worker in their work environment or it is the science of optimizing human work interface so it uh, aims to design safer instrument improve improving efficiency optimizing the layout reducing the industrial accident so all these statements are correct so the correct answer is 1 2 3 and 4 okay now the next question which of the following is not a feature of heat stress 
तो हाइपर पैरिक्सिया येस इट इज़ करेक्ट सिनकोप ड्यू टू पेरीफेरल वेसोडाइलेशन एंड डिहाइड्रेशन इट कैन ऑल्सो अकर क्रैम्प्स ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रोलाइट लॉस इट कैन अकर फ्रॉम स्वेटिंग नमनेस इज द ऑड वन आउट नमनेस इज नॉट अ क्लासिकल फीचर ऑफ हीट रिलेटेड इलनेस इट इज मोर रिलेटेड टू न्यूरोपैथी सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सो विद दिस वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ इन यू पी एस सी सी एम एस पास्ट ईयर फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड नाइन टिल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो काइंडली लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब ऑन आवर चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अटैम्प द क्विज यू कैन गो टू आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू